live. All right, dude. Welcome to the channel, guys. You already know every Thursday, make a bring podcast. We're here to talk more shit. Uh, t- today's podcast is gonna be kind of short. Um, but it's gonna be fun, and hopefully, everyone is having a good Thursday. Uh, other than that, um, Peter, what do you have to say? Hey, man, why, why is it short, man? Why is today's episode short, man? Uh, it's short because uh, we got shit to do. That's why. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yo, w- welcome to the show, man. It's uh, Make It Rain podcast every Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, no, uh, Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. No, no, <laughs> not p.m. Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> no, no, that was that was right. I'm fucking up. 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Damn. Uh, but hey, you know, if you're here, you already know what time we start uh, late. <laughs> Just kidding, on time. Um, how's your week, dude? It's been uh, it's been good. I um, got a lot of things done. Uh, officially enrolled. Uh, it took me a while, Whoa, but um, right, okay, I'm right. Officially um, starting. Um, you know, I I feel like I'm. Um, I thought about it today too. I'm like, man, I have so much, like, on my plate. Is it because why? Why do I have so much on my plate? Because I get bored easily, I feel like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, dude. We need that high dopamine, but, dude. That's why that's why I like, that's why I used to be an alcoholic, bro. <laughs> I just need that high dopamine. Ah, gotta get my next hit. It just, so much things to uh to balance, you know. Um but it's good though, it's keeping me busy. You know, I, I think I and I thought about that. I was like, man, uh, I was kinda I was thinking of you. I was like, Well for Peter you have kids, so you you have to you know you have to put some time to you know watch your kids and spend time with them. Me, I don't I don't have anybody, so like that time goes to somewhere else, you know. Um. Anyways, man, um, a lot a lot of good things are happening. Uh, church is good. Um, nice. I went to the, the a, a meeting, met some pretty cool people, okay. and um, I saw her again. But you didn't say and shit. That. You didn't say shit. God. Damn. It was just. It just wasn't the right time. Um, God damn. I was sitting there. I, I was sitting there, and then uh, she walked. Well, there's a speaker, and then she walks by. I'm like, damn. Bro. This Sunday, though. This Sunday, it will happen. I don't want to talk about it, man. Oh, I went to. Uh, I went to this FitCon. Uh, Saturday, Fit, FitCon. I think it was Saturday. Yeah, it's like a Fit convention. It's kind of cool. Uh, my roommate, he uh does calisthenics. Okay. At the Venice, he goes there like every Sunday, dude. Um, and he just works out there. And he invited me out. He was like, okay, it was it was weird. It was weird how it happened, right? Because me and him don't really talk like that. We just kind of like see each other. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey. Make sure you pay your rent. So it's more. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, right? Uh, I um, walked out there, and he was just out there chilling. He was like, "Yo, Frank, man," so, and then we had like a, a real deep talk. Oh, nice! And he was like, "Yo, I'm doing um uh, doing this event this Saturday. Uh, you should just come by." I'm like, "Hmm, Saturday morning? Like, yeah, I, I have time." So I went there, and I was like, "You know, I'll, I'll take some photos for you guys." So I ended up taking some photos, oh, nice. uh, make some pretty cool connections. Um, you know how I was telling you I was trying to build my portfolio. Yeah. Or um. That's per- yeah, that's perfect, man. So, bro, it was, it was God sent, dude. Like I went to like fifteen different booths, booths that I liked. Um, m- it was majority of them, and I just talked to the owner. Hey, are you the owner? Hey, let me talk to you for a second. Uh, search information, and yeah, I just got things rolling perfect. most of the time. So, yeah. Um. Oh yeah, that was that was uh, that was freaking awesome, and then um, yeah, I went to a club yesterday. And I shot uh, a friend was a, he's DJing. Man, it was, people were just standing around. Man, I'm like damn, y'all are sober as fuck, just standing around. Gen Zs, 
they don't dance, man. Like millennials, they be like dancing. But yeah, Gen Z. It's so oh, it's so boring, bro. Gen Z. I would not want to pay money. Special to type, special bro. guest. What up, son? Hello, how you doing, sir? <laughs> Let's come back. <laughs> All right, son. Get out. Get out. Go. 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 <laughs> hey, you want my phone, son? How you doing, oh, young right. young sir? Young. Um, quick shout outs to Jonte. What up, Jonte? Jonte's been a minute, man. Good seeing you, bro. Good seeing you on the chat. Me and Peter are here every Thursday, man. We love to see uh, familiar faces, good friends. Uh, my C, what's up? Hey, my C was the one that uh, caught me. I was Ying's friend. Yeah, she she's pretty dope. She just moved here um like nine months ago, I believe. Oh, nice. She's dope. And of course, we got the notorious Yang Cheng. <laughs> no, sorry. What's up, Yang? <laughs> the troll. We got we got Linda Sauer. That's my uh my in law. Oh, nice. Okay. But yeah, um, no one has figured it out yet. There's no such thing as a perfect time. True, a per a perfect time is the right time. Me, the wrong time is the perfect time. Um, Yang said, "Are you going to Illidium next weekend?" Yes, I am. I have to go. I'm going. Um, I'm going Saturday. Um, if you're going too, let me know. Hit me up. Meet up or something. That's like, I'm not gonna be on drugs though. That's EDM, EDC, or is that? Is that yeah, that it's like, like that. It's this uh, really famous uh, DJ. His name is Elidium. Mm. Uh, like a lot of Asian dudes, a lot of Asian people love this guy. Um, yeah, great, great DJ musician. Yeah. She's going too. Yay, hit me up. I'll give you a uh, message. I'm going. What what floor are you? Um, by the way, uh, Peter. How's your weekend, brother? Oh shit, that's right. <laughs> talking about your weekend and talking about everything else. Um you know, I I I I've been I've been doing a lot of um house searching, uh, a lot of house mm. homework. Uh, applying to different places to get a, a loan and comparing, you know, prices and shit like that and getting in touch with people. And um, I think people are holding out. So there's not a lot of shit for sale right now. Uh, I think a lot of people are holding and they're going to wait till the mm. rates drop. And then that's where they're going to put their shit on the market. Because um, I, I can't find shit, man. I can't find like quality shit, you know. Um, so patience. Patience. Oh, oh, come. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe it's a sign, dude. Maybe it's a sign to not buy yet. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it it, it is. Uh, I think it's something that you know your perfect house will come eventually. You know, it, it will come. You know. Yeah. Because yeah. like like I was because I was searching today. You know, earlier today, and then I was just like, man, I I really want it to happen, but I don't want to buy a piece of shit and just force it. You know. Um, right. So I, I think I think this year a purchase may not be done. Is what it's was what it's looked like. Because like once once the rates drop, man, everybody's gonna fucking swarm to you know the houses and shit, and that's gonna be you know. Uh, a have you have you talked to Anthony about this actually? No, I have not. Anthony, Anthony says it's a sign to move to uh, Oklahoma. <laughs> um, I see that now, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, maybe it is a sign. Um, that's that's um that's great. Anthony says rates drop and skyrocket again. Yeah, it is a sign to wait, man. Maybe just maybe it is time to wait. You know. But man, like if I don't buy, dude, then it's just the price of the house is just gonna continuously go up. And then it's like, I'm going to be renting for the rest of my life and just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How, how long do you give yourself? I don't know. I don't, well, I, well, that's the thing is that I don't want to keep waiting. You know what I'm saying? I want to get into a place, but at the same time, I don't want to just get into the place for the sake of just getting to a place. I want to get a duplex so that way I can house hack, right? House hack. Uh, and rent right. the other side, you know, but purchase like a property that's going to appreciate that um, is going to generate, you know, income for when I get a second property, you know, but 
I don't want to get a single house and just pay for a house, you know, and then, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, I'm kind of in a shit spot right now. Um, but that's how my week's been. Have you thought about, have you thought about building? That's too expensive. I, I want to get like, into uh, a place and then just make money right away. You know, um, okay. Because okay, building, okay. building is going to be expensive and then you have to contact more people to get shit done and you got to see if you're in the right zone to build shit and then it's, it's, it's a lot more work. I just want to purchase and then just hit the ground running. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. I think um, patience, yeah. Unfortunately, well, I don't, I don't have a choice. <laughs> so patience, yeah. 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 But it, it is kind of yeah, nice at the same time because, like, if I don't buy, then it's just, I just stack my money. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not really like a, a, I lose out if, if I don't buy. It's just I want to do something, you know. I want to grow. Are you compounding your money or not? Yeah. My, okay. I mean, my money um, is just, I want to, like, like I don't I don't want to sit on my hands and just wait active. for you know yeah I yeah active I want to I want to do that shit active yeah. you know what I'm saying so yeah real estate yeah um have you uh have you thought about the Airbnb business renting and and renting it out subleasing it oh like arbitrage yeah mm, I thought, have thought about, about it, that but I'd rather I'd rather have the asset you know what I'm saying. Like, cause, cause mm. all it is, is just, you're paying a, a lower rate rent or you're paying the, whatever rent you're paying. And then you're just making money on top of, you know, the shit that you're buying or you're renting. It's, it's a real, real simple concept. I think it's real cool, but I'd rather, I'd rather have the asset, you know. That's fair. All right. Um, how's your kids, man? How's your family? They're doing good, man. I keep that. I keep that shit private. Uh, We're doing good. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though. That's that's cool. Thanks for asking, though. Off 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 camera, I'll tell you all about my life. But yeah, on camera, everything's good, dog. <laughs> oh, actually, you know, let me let me oh, tell you something, cool. right? So I bought these these these. We can probably you know sponsor in our, our shop or something. But I got these cards, best self. A company that makes these mm. uh, cards to have deeper conversations, right? Uh, so I bought these. This is the intimacy okay. deck that me and my wife did. Um, ask you a bunch of cool questions, and then one of the questions out the box, it was like it was it was a question. I forgot what the question was, but then you know, first card, you know, supposed to bring us closer, and then we got into an argument. <laughs> Wait, arguments are good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Arguments well, are good, about, right? That's, right. That's the thing about this uh, this deck, you know what I'm saying? It, it it forces you to have, you know, these challenging questions to to connect. What know? was the question? I, I forget. What was the question? I I totally forgot because we did a few more mm. after that, but but it's solid, man. It's solid. Mm. This is uh, another one too. Since I'm talking about these things, right? Another company, similar concept. It's called this company is called The And. And then um, this is a family deck, family edition deck. So mm. it's structured the PG. same way. It's structured the same way where you ask deep questions and to connect and stuff. And so that's what I got too, man. Uh, pretty excited, man. This is real good questions. I'm excited. Are you gonna to, pull one card out, bro? Yeah, dude. Let me do the family one, man. So it's it's kind of like a this one. They they have like a rule, you know, of how to do it. You know, there's four steps to it. Uh, Interesting. You do a one-on-one. -on -one. But let me show you a question, right? Random question. So, pick a pick a card, Frankie. Pick a card. Uh, middle one right there. This one? Middle one. Okay. Yeah. All right. The question is... All right. Yeah. Let's see if you can see it. Come on, focus. What's something I really need to hear? Okay. So I asked you this question, and then you asked me this question. Okay. So what's something I really need to hear? Uh, you need to buy some lights. 
Oh, well, your setup, man. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. What yeah. Kind of like, like, what, what, what kind of lights you talking about? Uh, like I need to brighten up like this soft. side. Oh, this side. Yeah, the right, this side, the right side. Yeah, okay. to kind of even out. Okay. That area, but um. Okay. Next step. Okay. That's the next purchase. Uh, okay. And then that's right, when go ahead. And, and that's when you ask the question. Was it what's something that I that you need to hear? That that you need to hear. Or what's something that? Oh, what's something I need to hear? All right, you ready for this one? Yeah, give it to me. Um, you're probably doing too much. <laughs> True. Um, yeah, I, I know I am. Okay. Um, All right. It's just that uh, which one do I eliminate first? You know, um, but but if I really like list everything down, um, it keeps me busy. But that's the thing, though, is like yeah. busy and productive is uh, different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can uh, we can talk about it after the pod. Well, we'll I want just... to. I want to. Okay. All right. Huh? But yeah, you like that? You like that, though, man? That that so I I, I really like yeah, that yeah yeah I really like that because it forces you and it's very intentional and you know relationships are important you know so. I'm gonna have to get myself one yeah cool man uh with that being said <laughs> you ready to go into these videos man uh before we go in uh, chat what is something that we need to hear uh oh yeah uh -oh. give it to us what is something we need to hear. All right. Um, but yeah, let, let's sense. get into it. Cool. All right, first video. I, I didn't watch any of these beforehand, so no, just random order. Here we go. I, I sat my dad down and told him just like, hey, I think I might want to walk myself down the aisle just so I can have that moment to myself. And also just, you know, this is how I feel about this topic. And he was like, okay. Aww. I thought he might be like a little bit upset. Like, I mean, of course that's understandable since it's so traditional. You raise your daughter thinking. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, yeah, no, that's fine. And I was like, okay. He's just and he's nice like, guy. yeah, yeah, my dad's he's a nice guy. guy. His yeah. only stipulation yeah. was he wanted to hug me at the end of the aisle. So he got Aww. to hug me at the end of the aisle and I hugged Why my mom too. That's so <laughs> I know, it was cute. so cute. He's yeah. the best. What do you think? That's it. I saw. You chose that one, eh? Uh, okay. So I assume you, you chose this one because I have, you know, I have kids. I have a daughter. I have a son. You know. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I don't really care. Uh, it's just, it's really the same thing, man. It's, it's your day. You paying for everything. You set the agenda. You know, you tell me where I, what I need to do, where I need to be. Um. You know, that's, that's it. Because because I got you for life, man. You know what I'm saying? I got you for life. This well, is this is your. You game. don't you don't you don't think you don't think it's like a respectful thing to you know have you walk her down the aisle? I I you know honestly I don't care like like Damn. a wedding or, okay like, it's, well because like I got like these are my kids for life. You know what I'm saying? Like one day. Once you know formal setting, some kind of celebration of these two people, and it's just like tight. You know what I'm saying? Outside of this event is where it matters. It's where I'm gonna have a say. You know what I'm saying? But if it's like the celebration, you have what you want to do, then tight. Do do whatever you want to do. You paying for shit. You know? That's how I see it. Like if if. If she's yeah. talking about like how I, if she's saying like, hey, I want to be a deadbeat OnlyFans, you know, bitch, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, throw my pussy everywhere. And I'm just, I'm then I'm going to say something. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have sh some, sh some shit to say. You know? But but if it's a wedding, um, she wants it a certain way, then. Yeah. That's fine. That's interesting. Yeah, I um, I I would like it if my daughter 
was to ask me. I, I would be honored if she was to be like, hey, Dad, can you walk me down the aisle? You know? Yeah. Um, but if it's just the thought of like, I definitely don't want you to do that, Dad. Kind of like, you know, hurts me a little bit. Like, damn, why? Like, I raised your ass. I feed your ass. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm giving you away to another man, you know, and um, at least have um, the respect for me to do that, you know, in the word of God, you know. Sure. I mean, t- t- each their own, man. Like, I'm, like we're, we're going to see each other, you know, at family events. We're gonna. What, she's gonna come back to me and ask me for life advice and shit, and you know, and um, we're still gonna do life together. It's just one one event. She says, "Hey, this is what I want," and then she's paying for everything. And it's just like, all right, do you? But don't you think? Don't you think that kind of reflects on how she feels about you, like beyond that? You know what I mean? Well, I, I tell you how I, I view a marriage. A marriage is just, just, just an event that you say, "Hey, come celebrate with us," and like, 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 like this is all, it's all personal. You know what I'm saying? Like how I feel is just, it's just, uh, it's twenty grand out the fucking window and a bunch of people I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so for one day, yeah, um, that's I mean... what she's doing, and she just wants me to. Step to the side for a little bit, tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude. Yeah. Like that's that's how I feel. You know. Yeah. Um, that's cool, man. That's interesting because um, I think I think if she, I think I feel like if she was to like that video alone, right? I don't think she has a really good connection with her father. You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like if she was to have a good connection with with him, she would want him to walk in walk her down i don't know man like uh i think it's yeah. generational because she seems kind of younger like she even seems younger than us right so i think it's like a, like in terms of like how we you know see marriage right or see that marriage day right that celebration i think i think you know it it matters because it's marketed to us in movies and and you know films that we watch when we grow up that the wedding is this magical one day thing that happens and and um, it's it's what it is right and so if you don't subscribe to that kind of you know um, thing then then you don't feel as strong to it you know I think the the idea of of marriage you know. It's something that I, you know, value and subscribe to, right? So that's why, like, for me, my, my, my focus is my language, right? And then my focus is, you know, relationship, buying these, you know, cards to have better conversations and, you know, shit like that matters to me, right? This, this like, this ring, for the longest time, I didn't fucking have a ring. You know, Paku didn't, for the longest time, you know, she didn't have, the, you know, a ring until recently. And that's something that we, that, that that once again, I think it's bullshit, right? A ring doesn't dictate how much you love each other, you know? The price of the, the diamond ring, you know, it doesn't dictate how much, you know, how committed you are or, or how much you love each other. It's just, it's symbolic because somebody said it was and then somebody tried to sell something, tried to sell diamonds and shit. So that's what I believe, right? And so that's why, like, for my daughter's, you know, special day, you know, if she, whatever, whatever the fuck she want to do. <laughs> because it's it's really, you know, the conversation that me and my kids are gonna have before the wedding, during the relationship, before the wedding, uh, uh, and then after, you know, the wedding, and then if they decide to do a marriage license, which which I don't recommend anybody do, <laughs> but but right, so these conversations, right, is what's matter is what matters to me, you know, not not some overpriced, you know, celebration, you know, so. So all all of that, you know, I make a big deal out of if, you know, if if the kids, you know, want to do whatever the fuck, however they want to fucking do their wedding, right? They can all dress like Mario characters for all I care. You know, I don't give a fuck. But, but, 
that's I ain't paying for that shit. You know, one one I ain't paying for that shit. But you know, if if that's why like that's why like you know this ceremony thing. I think I you know I understand that it's it's symbolic and then it's cool and it means something, which you know I'm all for. But at the same time, it's like that's not the that's not important. You know what's important is that behind closed doors you actually do have a marriage that you cherish so much you know so yeah i think it's perspective because like a lot of dudes i mean they they i mean actually a lot of weddings too a lot of dudes they don't they don't care they just want to party and they, they do it for the girl most of the time and um it's, it's really important for the girl you know um like that's kind of like their moment you know to to shine or to whatever how they want to express their marriage and celebration uh, for us, man, I get it, man. We don't, we don't care. Um, but I think, uh, I think, I think that's just kind of a, if it's really that important to her, like, I think she should put important people, you know, and people, people do their weddings differently, man. You know what I'm saying? Like there's some, there's some wild ass weddings and, you know, traditional weddings and then, you know, yeah, you do you. It's America. You do you. You know what I'm saying? Just, just don't forget the people that love you. Really, you know, it's it's, it's what it is. So her her not wanting the dad to walk her down the aisle is is like it's not really a big deal, you know. Yeah, well, to to you, to you, it's it's not. But for me, it's it's a pretty big deal. Okay. She ain't, that ain't gonna happen. Hey man, you, like, you gotta nah. walk you down for the pictures. It's for instant for the gram. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that for wedding ain't gonna happen if it ain't walking you down. You be like, no I'll tell it. That bitch did walk me down the aisle, man. I raised that bitch up, man. I'll tell it. <laughs> Security, get that, get that uh, man out here. Let's go and reach out real quick. It says, uh, Philip says. Uh, she's too self-centered, uh, possibly. Uh, Link says, stay down the drain. Then someone, Victor said, dang, someone wants to get their kid. Yeah, she's um, she's young. Uh, Philip said, in Western we- weddings, the father pays for everything. At least she could, the least she could do is walk him down the aisle. Uh, you know, would it be a different story if she did, if he paid for everything? Probably, man. You know, if, if I was paying for Who, shit, for you, man. For you. Well, if I was paying so for would it be a, well, one for one one yeah. thing's for sure. I ain't paying for jack shit. <laughs> I want to make that really clear to all my kids. Your wedding is your fucking wedding. You know what I'm saying? Um, but your life is mine. <laughs> so you wouldn't you wouldn't pay? I think uh, in among. Uh, traditional too. I think um, the parents pay for the wedding too. I, I believe. Oh, that's funny, man. Hey man, dude, I give them. I give them a loan, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I give you a loan, kids. But I, I expect that interest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why. Uh, Link said, uh, "Married woman from India. The wife family pays for jewelry and wedding. What is it? Dowry. Dowry. Yeah. Dowry and weddings." Well, I think I think most people they do that too. I think like the wife's family pays for it. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Victor says wedding are for rich people. They can keep all that traditional. Um, yeah, actually, I've I've shot some pretty broke people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was kids, 50%, I, um, I was fifty percent of the budget. <laughs> Uh, uh, so if he gives you a hug at the end at the aisle, how is he gonna get a, his seat? Uh, we, they usually sit like at the front yeah. row, yeah. like the parents and stuff. Grandma, intimate family usually sit in the front row. <clears throat> parents are usually at the edges. Anyways, um, on to the next. Well, real quick, Hugh Hugh Yang on the other uh, on the other page said, "Yeah, it's for women." Talking about weddings. Yeah, it, it it's definitely uh, soul people. 
for you know, for you know the the origin of all that shit, man, happened from uh, uh Victor said it. It's like like a uh, some royalty family where like the wedding did happen and then they wore a white dress and then it was you know this big celebration and all the poor you know people wanted to emulate that shit too because before i think traditionally you know weddings were just you know close knit family talking about you know how to arrange shit and getting together and saying hey you know they're together you know like the wedding diamond ring is a it's a diamond companies wanted to sell more rings and so they started a campaign in the i think 50s or 60s or some shit like that but um capitalism at its best oh yeah man i ain't no sucker though people who immediately respond to your text are not desperate people who immediately respond to your call are not desperate people who are always there for you when you need them are not always free or jobless. Maybe they understand how it feels to be ignored. Maybe they know what it feels like to be left alone. Because maybe they were left alone when they needed someone. Maybe they love you. Maybe they made you their priority. Never take them for granted, please. Never lose them. They are gold. Wow. Damn, that's good, dude. That was good. Solid, that's, good. that's a good video, man. That's a real good video. Like, you know, I, I was listening to something earlier. It was talk it was a a summary on um uh on a book and it, it, it the book is all about how to listen, right? And then and then um it was talking about how like the the skill of listening, you know, sometimes people um just need somebody people need a vent sometimes, right? Or just need somebody to, to talk to, you know, and then and then so when you are that person that listens, right, the skill of listening and not just re returning, you know, what they're trying to say. People people sometimes need that because sometimes people are lonely, you know. And then, so that's – and that just kind of it, – it triggered that for me, you know, is that like, you know, like I, I am readily available because I feel lonely because I need somebody to talk to or to turn to. And then, not only that, but I feel like sometimes, like, eh, well, I would say a lot of times, I feel like I'm able to help others, but others can't help me. And then, so that's why, like, for, for a while, man, like, I, I just been so secluded from people because, because of that fact. And, and, um, and then now I'm in a space where, like, I do a podcast with, you know, my brother, my best friend, you know, and I feel like that's kind of all I really need. And then at the same time, it's like, you know, it's like I still yearn for relationship, you know, but I'm still trying to work on like, like growing my money. So I'm still working on trying to, you know, raise my kids. And at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm working on that piece too of of uh, networking or or reaching out. I wouldn't say really networking, but but I, I that's that's a good video, man. I think um, that's cool. Um, I don't I don't that's I don't dope, know man. how to um, really answer answer that. I'm just kind of venting, honestly. But. So um, have have you ever? I'm the I mean talk to a girl and uh you kind of like you see her that she replies but you don't want to look at it until like maybe like you know a day later give it some something. time yeah give it some space yeah yeah give it some time you know, you're not you're not, you're not that desperate you know what i mean um i think that correlates to that's i think that's a different scenario from like the homie right i think the homie um calling and texting them right away and they answer right away. I, I don't think there's no real like judgment when that does happen, you know. But I think for like the dating aspect, I think you should definitely wait. <laughs> Gotta play hard to it's, get, it's man. Mind, it's mind games. <laughs> it's all mind games, though. It's mind games. But that's the thing that I don't Sometimes, understand, man. It's like, you, my, like my phone is always on me, volumes on, notification on. You know, it's like. When when you text me, it's a ding. 
I pull it up and look at. It. I mean, I ain't, I ain't, you know, what I'm saying, I ain't in the, uh, in the hospital doing surgery on anybody. You know, what I'm saying, I ain't, uh, I ain't on Mars. You know, uh, skipping moon rocks and nothing. You know, what I'm saying, I ain't under the ocean. You know, what I'm saying, trying to find Atlantis. You know, what I'm saying, I just like the phone ding. I look at it. Oh, I got a message from this person. Click. What you doing today? Oh, I ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, what are people doing, you know, to where they, like, 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 how far are you away from your phone most of the time? You know what I'm saying? That shit is on my hip or within reaching distance, you know, and the volume. So there's, there's two things that I could explain, right? Um, there, there are times that I'm like, man, maybe I should reply back in a better, you know, better way, right? In a, you know, more business way, whatever, more, more professional way. Um, when I look at it, okay, cool. I'll think about it. And sometimes I just forget about the message and never reply because other messages come through and then their message goes down and then I just I just forget sometimes. Uh, but I really try to reply as soon as possible though. That's definitely the key. But there are times that like I, I usually will wait because like maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm driving, maybe I'm um, doing something else. I don't want to distract myself from that. Yeah, text. yeah. LA, LA traffic is pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> but I think I think a day though. I think a day is like pushing it. It's like it's like, okay, cool. Two days, like okay, this you know something there. It's, it's almost like equivalent to checking your emails. You know what I'm saying? Like in in nowadays, right. it's like oh shit, I forgot to check my email. You know, which which is your your texts and you just like you. Scroll through your texts and shit, and then you know you have your actual text, and then you have your Facebook Messenger, and then you have your uh, Instagram uh, message, you know, uh, personal message, and then you know, uh, and then yeah, you. I only have uh, my text message as my alert, dude. I turn everything off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's the only one that alerts me is the phone call and the text messages. Yeah. Other than that, uh, Facebook, I have to go in there manually and check myself. Uh, shout out to my sister real quick. She never is, she never watches me. And uh, shout out to Dylan too. Um, but yeah, uh, probably because you, it's probably cause you never yeah, yeah. you never reply back. That's why. <laughs> we'll reply back the, to what the um, to Nancy. <laughs> oh yeah, she. I I try to reply back to her. This this is um a good time. If it's like something that's like too much, I'll just usually just call her. But um Yeah, on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. But, so oh what's hold on, what's the overall message? Uh these are good people who are who are who are available to you. Okay, so don't 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 uh, disregard uh, good people. Sure, people you love, your family, friends, but you can disregard that chick that's been. If they don't turkey. reply within twenty four hours, cut them out of your life. Ooh, <laughs> this is gonna be a a U turn. Okay. This is gonna be a U turn right here. here Emotionally damaged people. Are always sexually promiscuous. Let me say this again. <laughs> if you are traumatized, if you are emotionally damaged, you are promiscuous. And do you want to know why? Dang. Why is that? Emotionally traumatized people require constant validation from others. Mm. You married to a woman who's been traumatized, abuse, abandonment, whatever. When you're not around her for too many days, she has to entertain another man because her trauma dictates constant validation and constant validation means I must have a man in my personal space. This is, you ever date a woman who was crazy about you. She absolutely loved you. So you thought it was really addiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When, it, when you finally let her go, when you finally got her to stop stalking you, she ended up with another man like that. Mm, and your ego yes. took a hit. You said, wait a minute. I know that woman was crazy about me. Crammed in my window Came to my, you understand? She was, uh -uh. she was crazy about your presence in her life. And the minute you distanced yourself from her life, she found a replacement without a problem. 
emotionally damaged people are promiscuous because they cannot go without constant validation. They need wow, that's, that's real good, man. That's so good, dude. That is such a good video, man. Man, you, man, you, oh, yeah. you got some solid it shit, does. man. God damn. I think, um, you know, there's a lot of truth in that, man. Like, it's just like, because you're, you're, you're chasing that next, you know, high, you know. And then, like, when this person, when you're through with that person and then your emotions all like, oh, you know, need that next hit, you know. And so I think this is a good video in terms of um, self-awareness, you know. Uh, and not only self-awareness, but you also kind of know how people are now, you know. Uh, you, you you recognize these um, habitual characteristics that that other people are doing, and not only other people, but your, yourself. And that's how you yourself can improve. It's like, oh, okay, you know, like that's why I have these triggers of what what not, you know. So I think I think I need to stop jerking off, man. I think that's the message. That's the message. Um, yeah, being self aware, man. Um you the thing about um women women specifically is that like like you can get a guy any guy you want really um but obtaining him would be the uh, the hard part um you know that's that's why that's why I don't really um fuck with uh girls that go to um EDM festivals um because there's a lot of emotions in there a lot of emotions and um people who do drugs it's the devil's playground. the drugs man. oh for sure you gotta like, it's, a de it's a devil's playground man <laughs> like it's it's so weird bro like okay tell me if this is weird or not um but when somebody loves you too much or like someone likes you too much, like that feeling. Oh, okay, yeah, I, that's a good word. Like, like and love is different, but when they like you too much, hmm. let, me, let me let me ask you this: uh, Have you ever been in a situation where you like you like this chick, and uh, you 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 know you're you know doing the hand thing, and like somehow your hand just never moves, and she and you can tell that she's kind of getting uncomfortable. Like, do you like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, um, that moment, um, I think that's where she really pushes away. Cause I think for, for a girl, like she, she has to kind of like chase you for her to really like you, you know, if they able to, yeah. to play that mind game. That's why, uh, players always win, man. Uh, it's the mind games, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Nessie does go to EDM class. She's married though. She a married woman. So, um. Yeah, she. I think she she entered into the EDM um, scenery when she was married, so I'm not worried. Uh, and uh, Dylan, Dylan, uh, he's he's pretty sober. He doesn't do drugs, so he's. Uh, oh, Na Nancy's on the. Uh, she's on the other one, dude. She's on. <laughs> she oh, gives, she's on the other one. Yeah, she gives 99 stars. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Thanks, man. Shit. Appreciate it. Okay, so on the other one, she said Peter is right, but. But she said that like five minutes ago. What did I say five minutes ago? <laughs> and then she said um, false and true. False because she had a strong mindset. True is because she had a weak mind. What was that too? I, it, uh, I think that's probably because of the EDM thing, right? It, Nancy, if I'm not wrong. Um, Nancy, Nancy what's that said, emotion, man? Nancy said. It's not emotion. Wait, what does this even have to do with EDM? <laughs> You oh, said, what you I'm said. saying is like, um, like I don't oh, like to date girls that are that goes to EDM festivals because it, there's a lot of emotions that goes on. That's funny, man. I've never been to one, so I don't. I think, um, I know, yeah, I've never been to one, so I can't speak to that. But yeah, it's just a bunch of uh, you know, the high emotions, high dopamine, and then like, like, dude. I when I first did it and I um fell in love with this chick and we were just high. <laughs> and then afterwards, dude, like it was just like nothing. Like I'm actually not attracted to you. <laughs> You're like, God damn, you ugly as fuck. <laughs> it, was just, it was just a moment. 
You know what I mean? Like it wasn't. It wasn't. It was just oh, like a flame. In the EDM festivals, it was just always a flame. It's, it's never. I feel like it's nothing. Nothing true. I feel like there. I feel like people who go there don't go for you the know. music. <laughs> you know, I feel like they go there for the drugs. You know, it's a feeling, man. It's a high. It's a high dopamine, dude. Like it's, it's it's a drug. They go for the drug, bro. Uh, um, if you don't listen to Excision, then that's a rough flag. Excision is a rough flag. Oh, okay. So Nancy, um, Nancy said, wait, wait, why are we talking about EDM right now? <laughs> we're talking about EDM because uh, we're talking about girls that goes to um, EDM festivals. They are high in emotions and it's a fling. I think she's trying. I think she's asking like, like, how does that correlate to the video? Oh, because the video is talking about like how like uh, emotionally traumatized people are promiscuous, um, and then I think we made that correlation to EDM because of because uh, that promiscuous is chasing that high, right? Chasing that dopamine. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, so exactly so this. promiscuous in a sexual way, or and then Frankie is saying that promis uh. Chasing that dopamine through like drugs or 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 you know you maybe you're looking for a sex partner at e, at the EDC you know that's what you're saying right Frankie yeah yeah okay. exactly so Philip Chap sent two hundred stars and then he sent twenty stars on top of that damn bro episode damn, appreciate the stars guys episode 40 man thank you everybody man thank you uh well not everybody just philip chap and nancy <laughs> but appreciate y'all thanks thanks to the stars. uh the frank is telling me why he doesn't talk to those girls um uh, there's many reasons why i don't i i, I try to but it's just, it's just not the right time to talk to girls at edm festivals man like you're you're screaming Hey, how you doing? It's just, it's just <laughs> not trying to have like, best. trying to have like a deep conversation. <laughs> you, you, you pull yeah, up this card yeah, and yeah. you be like, "Hey, I bought <laughs> this. I bought this a while ago. I wanted to meet people and have deep conversations." Pick a card, man. Yeah. yeah. What kind of present? That's actually like not a bad idea, though. <laughs> just like going out to festivals and like pull out those cards. Oh, shit, dog. No, that's funny, man. Trying to have a deep conversation. You do, 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 do. It's like, what? I popped a molly two seconds ago. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> God damn, bro. That's funny. Uh, this is the way we never dis even discussed about why girls are desperate about seeking attention. Um, well, it's not about girls desperate that are desperate seeking attention. They're seeking the dopamine high the um the love the uh emotion the high emotion state the happiness you know i mean it's not just women it's, it's dudes too you know you know nancy uh i think what it is is sometimes a lot of times we start on an idea we start talking about an idea and then we go off track and then we don't know how yeah. our other idea even correlates to the main one. So I think that's what's going on. Uh, <laughs> very yeah, good we, listener. Uh, we I think, jump on I think, the, I think Nancy's a really good listener. Yeah. And they we're just a, a really good bullshitter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't know what else to talk about. Let's just bring in some shit. <laughs> Let's just talk EDM. about oh. EDM, dog. <laughs> uh, that's just oh, funny. shit, dog. Goddamn. Um, oh, see, fuck. Cassie said ADHD thing. Pretty much. <laughs> Maybe I do an ADHD. ADHD huh? A thousand percent, dude. You and me, dude. ADHD yeah. to the max, bro. Oh, shit. That's funny. Victor said, or if they don't like Kai Wachi, then they got to go. What's, what, what's, what's Kai Wachi? Is that an artist? Is that an it's gotta be anime, right? No, man, that's racist, man. You should... <laughs> it sounds like a Kakashi. <laughs> and uh, it's Katakashi. Um, oh. yeah, that that sounds Japanese as fuck, though. Man, dude, that's racist, bro. Okay, you ready? you ready to go to my videos, man? 
yeah, let's let's we're gonna go on to uh, Peter's uh, segment real quick. Uh, hold on, let me uh, read what uh, Nancy said real quick. She said, okay. "Men are horrible listeners." I mean, all of a sudden you're talking about EDM when we haven't discussed about the first subject, <laughs> which I mean, forgot what it was. It was it, it related. I think um, Peter kind of summed it up a bit. The 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 chasing. Um, so I think right. So the chasing the high. The the promiscuous yeah. comes from. Um, I forgot what the dude said, but you're seeking validation, and that's why you're promiscuous. And and then I think Frankie's yeah. trying to correlate. He don't talk to women there because perhaps the women in at EDC are you know. Most of them are, are on, I mean, you know, most people who go, go to EDC are on drugs. Um, and then, so chasing that high, right, is what Frankie is trying to avoid. People who he wants to lower his chances of meeting those people. Yeah, uh, or am I just bullshitting, Frankie? Let me let me know if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's uh, it's like it's not realistic, like finding a girlfriend over there or like a long term chick over there is it's not realistic like there's better places to find uh a wife but if you're trying to find a fling you know that's a great place to do it have you, have you see nancy yeah hey nancy just so you know you can't uh no refunds on the stars <laughs> yeah. oh shit dog oh. Oh, okay, I like I like Cassie's answer. She said she said men just like to get to the point and basic versus us women. We explain with more details. Confused face. Ah, oh, thanks for thanks for the save, Cassie. Thanks for uh, being on our side. Shout out to Cassie, dog. Oh man, dude. <laughs> you see Philip? <laughs> he said this podcast is uh, less gay. <laughs> Wait, where's Philip at? Oh, oh fuck, dude! <clears throat> I remember last episode. It was, it was, was it gay? Man, that's funny. Let's go. Let's go on to our next video, dude. All right, we're going to the next segment, guys. We're dropping off this. We're dropping this topic. Oh, dude, that's so funny, man. Let me see if the audio works. Okay. Y'all, I would just like to thank y'all for coming here. That's it. That's all you. Like, I really couldn't ask for better friends. Making me realize that I deserve so much better because we, every single person here knows that you were trying to talk to some girl named Dennis <laughs> that about being friends with benefits. Like literally, all of us have seen screenshots and screen recording of everything you sent her, especially within the past few days, and how you were texting her and sending her video. You literally sent her the same picture you sent me today. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, so in case you didn't figure it out, we're over <laughs> and you can get the fuck out. Get the fuck out! <laughs> get the fuck out! It could have been more petty. How do you feel about um, that? How do you feel about that? Uh, I give it a C minus. Uh, I think she could have done better if she really wanted to blow him up. Um, okay. But I'm I'm pretty sure he was pretty happy to leave her anyways with the way he reacted to that. And he was just kind of like, cool, we found out. All right, I'm out. Um, Man, it sucks that uh, I'm pretty sure it was probably her house. It seems like it was her friends, her her party, yeah, right? She's kicking him out. Then it's definitely not his place. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then everybody, the there, everybody there too. You know what I'm saying? Was kind of like on her side. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about that, man? Because I will. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta understand. Like they're a couple, and then their friends are intermingled, and then so now that everybody's there, and then she does this. You know. Um, How do you feel? Um, don't cheat, uh, you know. Uh, but then they, I think, um, how she did it, I think she could have done better. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, she yeah, could have yeah. been more courageous. If you're gonna do it, 
Go all the way, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Go yeah, all the like, way. Levels, level up that petty, man. If you gonna yeah, be like, petty, you know, make it, you know, 10x that mug, you know what extreme. I'm saying? Yeah, that was just kind of like, it was kind of whack. It was kind of like, oh, you could have just, that you know, G-rated. texted me or something. That was G-rated petty. Yeah. Yeah. So it was all right. It was, well, she was, think- she was, know, probably, she was probably thinking of uh, the uh, terms and condition of TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm gonna post this on TikTok later. I gotta keep a G, you know what I'm saying? Radio G. That's why you hire an editor to blur that shit out. Hey, Victor with the with the 99 stars, cause damn, good shit. Y'all got y'all gotta stop sending these stars, man. We hey man, y'all showing too much love. Hey, dude, stars are great, man. You know what's you know what you know you, so you 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 don't get nothing for stars, but on Patreon. You know, Patreon, you get some hidden features, man. So check out Patreon in the pinned comment, you know. But uh, thanks, thanks, guys, man. Thanks, Victor. Uh, okay, I'll tell, y'all, you I'll tell you how I feel about that video, man. Um, first off, don't cheat. <laughs> I, don't get, I don't understand the concept of cheating, man. Or maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? This is just a little, you know, pocket pussy. Maybe that's what he was thinking. You know what I'm saying? But if you're talking about like emotionally cheat, that's something else. You know, but if he was just trying to, you know, confirm that he still got it, right? You know, busting the Mac saying he still I still got it. The text message back and forth, I still got it. He shows up to the woman's bed. I still got it. You know, and then and he does the action. I can still get erect. I still got it. You know, I ain't pulling the cramp on my hips. You know what I'm saying? No leg cramp. No hamstring pulled. I still got it. Maybe that's what he was doing. For her. Yeah, he, uh, I think he dodged a bullet, man. I think it's, when when cheating happens, um, obviously both of them are not in the right mindset. Um, Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's not unfortunate. I think, uh, I think, yeah. yeah. I agree with you 100%, man. If you're going to go petty, go really petty. Um, I think, man, well, can you imagine, right, being one of those people that just the bystanders? <laughs> yeah. That would be crazy, dog, if I saw that shit, dog. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man, dog. What if, no, what if that was your boy and then and you got invited to the party and then she does that? I'll, uh, I'll I'll walk out slowly. Okay, I think it's time for me to go too, I, right? I grab a few drinks, grab a few snacks out the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, it's like, uh, shit. A little awkward. It's rough. I was like, ooh man, you know. So, but what if you were cool with both of them, right? Like, let's say, let's say you knew him first, and then you know he got into a relationship. And now you're cool with her too, right? You you all intermingle. They've been together for like a year and a half, right? And then that happens, and then right, you're right. you're at the party, and then she says, "Hey, bitch, get out." Then then what do you do? Um, I'll I'll probably come for the dude, man. Um, and see see if uh if he hit both of them at the same time. I thought about now. I'll I'll probably joke around, dude. Um. <laughs> Obviously, I'll, I'll be there for him too, but I'll joke around most of the time, try to brighten up the situation. Oh, okay. Well, what would you do? What would you do? I'm like, man, dog. I'm like, I'll just, I'll just be quiet. I'll be in my corner, just quiet, just shaking my head, eating the snacks, and then walk out slowly, man. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, hey, guys, you-, you know, I gotta, I'm gonna go check on him. Uh, y'all, y'all have fun, stay safe. <laughs> well, cause well, I, I tell you, I tell you why that's my answer. Because my loyalty uh, belongs to him. Knew him first, mm. longer. We the homies, mm. we boys. Mm. It's just unfortunate that he, you know, swinging his dick like that. But, but my loyalty is to him. Um, so, if he lose, I lose too. That's my answer. Fair, bros. Dicks, dicks before chicks. Hey, yeah. Dicks, dicks for life. Is that uh, is that a saying? Dicks for life. Yeah. 
Uh, no, no, no. I haven't said that. This is the first time yeah. me saying that in one sentence. Moving on to the next video. All right, let's let's uh let's 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 rechat, 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 Frankie, rechat. All right, all right. And uh, Philip, appreciate the stars, man. Holy shit, dude! Did he send more stars? Um, no, he did. Well, he's he is on the like the star banner. Okay, uh, depending on the long relationship, it looks like it wasn't serious for long term. Um, yeah, I mean, you can kind of tell. I mean, she wouldn't do that if if they were like if she respected him, right? She wouldn't like put him on blast. Well, she well he um, cheated on her. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna put you on blast. You know. You you think so though? You think so? You you if you really respected him? Yes. Yes, I. You would. I. Well, you don't know me. I'm. I. I. I would probably strangle somebody. Somebody's getting strangled. But uh, keep keep reading. Why are you too silent? Too much. Uh, okay, so we have um, Ling. You are not the father. Is the worst. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh put a um a video about that too. Actually. Oh, yeah. that's a good one, Ling. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good one, man. That's he's a he's a half glass full kind of person, man. <laughs> He's like, hey, well, at least it's not you. You're not the father. <laughs> at least you're not on the Maury show. Oh, damn. That was a good one. Hey, did, I, did I show the video uh, last time with um, the uh, the guy who went in prison for like five years and then found out that he wasn't the father because he didn't pay child support? Uh, okay, that, that's for next week. I think. I think. Okay, right, that's, that's that for next week. I've okay. Um. Uh, Phil said, nah, move in on the girl. What do you mean? I move, I move in the, on the girl? Hmm. What do you mean by that? Okay, uh, Victor said, y'all didn't read my comment, damn. The one time I had a serious question. Okay, let me see, Philip. I mean, uh, Victor. Victor's question was, oh, he had a question with stars, bro. Okay, I like that. I like that. Says, why do you guys think about the doomsday clock being... And 90 seconds before midnight. Do you oh, think shit. we are closer to the nuclear war? Um, I don't know nothing about this, Victor. Okay, so you, I, you know I, anything I, I kind of... Um, well, I'm just familiar with the concept, right? The doomsday clock is, um, I think, something created back then when it was like... like um, it was during the Cubans, I think. The Cuban Missile Crisis or some shit like that. And the doomsday clock was like... You know, it's the it, the tension between you know the countries are are high, and so the closer you are at the countdown, then rockets are gonna be flying, and people are gonna be fucking dying. Uh, wh what do I think about the doomsday clock being at ninety seconds before midnight? Uh, I I would say I would say continue to live your best life. With uh, with the with uh, um, with a little bit more perspective, you know, I think uh, you know, because right, like even if there's no doomsday clock, you know what I'm saying? Like, how how are you living your life anyways? Are you living with purpose, or are you just fucking wasting your finances and your time? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so now that the doomsday clock is closing in, you know what I'm saying? I think I think he's kind of asking, like, are you doomsday prep it um i'm too fucking broke to doomsday prep you know what i'm saying uh, <laughs> i can't afford a half a million dollar house how the fuck am i gonna doomsday prep um you know i live in an apartment i'm gonna stock up food ammunition to what you know what i'm saying <laughs> um so so i think i think um uh i don't know how it's gonna play out victor I mean, we are the USA. Um, I'm, I'm in, you know, Wisconsin. Uh, I don't know. You, you, you are asking two clueless guys. You know, what I'm saying about Doomsday. You are asking the wrong guys. Is my answer to your question, Victor? <laughs> you see how Victor I said. Uh, Victor 
Um, Link said, Link answered Victor. He was like, we are closer than ever. Middle East is now a religional war. NATO is peppering for war for next year. Uh, are we are we team with NATO? NATO. Okay, yes. we're, we're talking politics, man. NATO, huh? Yeah. Are, are we? Yeah. Damn. Next year, it's 2025. Fuck. Okay, Link said, uh, Link, um, but if you think about it, it's... Oh, shit. Victor wrote a whole essay. Okay, I don't know. If you think about it, it's not in any country's interest to get the big guns out. There's too much to lose, not matter on each side on your own. Um, I think nuclear war is just killing people is just too much to lose. But it happens, man. Um, I mean, it sucks because like, it's not like directly to us. I mean, hopefully not anytime soon, you know? Um... But there's something definitely to worry about. I wonder how the uh, 2024 election is going to be. You think Trump is going to be elected again? Uh, most likely. But um, if they yeah. let him, if they let him, you know, run. But uh, I think I think for like nukes to fly, I think some real crazy shit need to you know go down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I I foresee if there's if there's going to be a war, there's going to be like a ground infantry type of war. You know, fought with planes and tanks and people. Um. I mean, that's what's going on. You don't think it's going to be more like, like a cyber cyber attack? Oh, shit, yeah. There's that, too. But I don't know how the fuck that's going to happen. That's that's beyond me. But, like, because, like, right, the the deal with Russia and, and uh, the next country over, Russia's trying to get their resources, you know, to make them stronger. So th- that's why there's that purpose in that, you know. So, so I like what Victor said about the interests, right? Their, their interest is... There's just too much to lose, you know. So, but. Um, hey, hey, Chris, if you're watching, uh, we are going to be doing it right after the pod. Uh, should be one more segment video, correct? I think, uh, I think there's, I think there's two. There's two. But we, we can make it one. We can make it one. Uh, Link, Link, Link said, Victor, that's true for us, but countries like Russia, North Korea, Iran, can get desperate. They cannot match our military power list. However, they have nukes also. I mean, she. Anyways, um, yeah, Philip is gonna be on. Hey, Philip, my bad, dude. Uh, we're gonna end this podcast uh in about five minutes. We're gonna watch the last video here, and then uh, we'll get you guys on. Great question, by the way, Victor. Made us think about our lives a little bit more seriously. Gotta plan that shit. Hold on, let me, uh... Okay, cool. Oh, okay. So Cassie on the other one said, First time listening to your podcast, and this is a funny podcast. Thanks for a good laugh while I'm cooking. <laughs> she was cooking, that's like... I think you mean not oh, any cool. time at all. I think... Shout out to Cass. Hey man, uh, every Thursday we're here. Put us on. And then, and then Nancy, fifteen minutes ago, she said EDM doesn't judge a person just because they like it. Doesn't mean it's who they are. <laughs> She's not letting that go, dog. She took that personally, dog. <laughs> then, hey man, that's the symbol of ED, EDC. Man, oh, is like the shit. peace and like love. And I get it. I get it. She would say that. I'm not surprised. <laughs> She's like, fuck you. You talk about my religion, motherfucker. I love that shit. That's my <laughs> thing, man. Don't fucking fuck it up for me. Okay, here, here's my bad name. Okay. And I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. And age isn't really a factor, but you don't know what you want. How old are you again? 38. You're 38? Oh, yeah. Red flag. So, but it's yeah. less about being a red flag and more about being a liability. I get it. If I were to bring you into my life, mm-hmm. you would be a liability. Right. Do you got kids, though? No. You said you're a doctor, right? That's correct. If you change your mind, I'm open to it, though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome, for sure. one. So you only like and me because I'm beautiful. 
Just like I'm beautiful. Yeah, doctor. yeah, but that's not why I would only like you. So why would you like me? Because you didn't answer that. Because you can bring something and add something to my mm -hmm. life. But because you're a liability, you right. can't add anything to my life. Right. You would be a liability to everything in so my life. So what can I not add to your life? What, what is that? You can't teach me anything. Uh -huh. You can't help me with my finances in any way. You can't add any intellectual that man is gonna turn gay. I swear, he's gonna find a man that would uh, that would meet his up needs. With him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is gonna he, turn gay. Just, I swear. He just described another man. He's like, man, you know what? I need a strong yeah. man in my life. <laughs> I need somebody to teach me something. I need somebody to give me value. Somebody to protect me. <laughs> somebody to give me that advice. Bro, you talking about me right here, bro? <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's Damn. So funny, dog. Oh my god, dude. Oh shit. That's um, I mean, he he he. Uh, I mean, if he's a doctor, right? If he's a doctor, why is he in these these dating shows, man? Yeah, like, you you know you are like reaching the lowest bracket of the dating, like pool. Like you had a. Go somewhere else to find a date, you know? You're a doctor, my guy. Go to the office. Office meetings. Find your loved one there. Go to a dating show is not going to find, you're not going to find somebody. You know, that's that's a real good question, right? His perspective. You know, he's 38. Um, you know, uh, career-wise, he's successful. Um, you know, like at, at that, and no kids too, right? Married, no kids. I mean, or not married and no, and no kids, you know, and he's talking about like, you know, what do you bring to the table? You know, I think that's such a, a great yeah, yeah. Uh, perspective to have, you know, so like, so, so let me ask you, right? If, like when you're going into your next relationship, right? Like, what are you, what's your mindset? You know, are you looking for somebody to, you know, build your life with or are you, are you are you like like what's your mindset going into the next next relationship um to um someone to compliment my life yeah okay um like i'm already i, I really love what i do already um like waking up doing what i love to do like honestly like I'm, i can't believe i'm getting paid doing what i do you know and Someone to uh, appreciate it, you know, and give me a, a different uh, look on certain things too. When I ask, other than like, um, like, oh, whatever, whatever you want is whatever you want. Yeah, I get it, I get it. But whenever I ask you about feedback, like I want a feedback, you know, not just like whatever it is. It it is, you know what I mean. It's um, I know taking it know. serious, yeah. you know, yeah. you know. How do we grow? Like, I'm stuck here. Like, can you help me out a little bit? You figure it out. You, you do you. And they're like, okay. Well, I sh you're trading you to a dog. With a dog, you man. Like, the fuck? Like, why are you here? Well, sometimes, you know what okay. I mean? Like, shit. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, yeah, no. Sometimes. Well, because, like, right? <clears throat> you, are, you, are, you are the expert at what you do. And you are asking somebody... Don't know jack shit what you do, right? Sometimes, like you, you meet you're in those scenarios. You know, it's like, man, I wish, right. I wish my life partner can help me with this. She can't. She, she's not capable of it. You know? Right, right, that's right. just what it is. You gotta figure it out. What, what? That's the importance of networking and then having that's your, true. that's true. Your, your group of network to, to be able to help in those specific situations because she can be your cheerleader in your life. And that may be just all that you fucking need. Every now and then you have these deep conversations, right? And then you grow as a person. She grows as a person. She has her own, you know, aspirations. She's good at what she's good at. And she suck at what she suck at. Just the same way you're good at what you're good at. And you suck at what you suck at, you know? So so I think, I think you said it very well. It's somebody who compliments your life, you know? And then a part of that process is getting to know somebody, going on a few dates, you know, um, having, right. having, having a relationship, whether it's, whether it's a friend relationship or you are, you know, in an intimate relationship, it's just that period of time 
I need to know if this person compliments me and if I compliment her, you know. So that way, for when we do share the rest of our life, right, monogamously, you know, we're going to be able to work shit out, you know. Yeah, I think the good has to, has to outweigh the bad. Cause I think the bad is definitely there, but yeah. there's got to be more good um, than bad. Yeah, that's if there's just one good thing about this person, and you're sticking with this person she for got, all the wrong reasons. She got nice. Titties. You gotta go, bro. She's got really. Yeah, you nice gotta go. It is, man. But man, she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate her. What, Man, what what's, something else, <laughs> what's something else you like about her? She got a really nice ass. <laughs> He's like, well, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, man, there's got to be... Um, oh, shit, dude. There's got to be something else. Like, uh, you know you know when a couple is, uh, is healthy is whenever she talks good about you to other people. You know? Yeah. She's like, hey, uh, yeah, my husband, like, does this, does this, does this. And it's just all good. Um, that's when, you know, you guys are on the right side together, you know, being positive and, and, and growing as one and talk about the bad and just releasing the good with each other, you know. It's, uh, it's a job, man. It's a job. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Man. It sure feels that way, man. Okay, so Cassie says... Uh... Oh, okay, so Cassie was saying to the video, I think he was trying to tell her that she doesn't need to do those things for him that he got it as a gentleman should. Um, True. But he, I think he's more worried about, like, he's not really benefiting off this at all. Like, getting, like, getting a pet dog would be way more beneficial than <laughs> I think, having her. I think he was very slick you know about saying? his word choices. He was like, you are a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, it, because like yeah, her yeah. attitude against him, he's like, oh, he, 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 she was like, I don't know if you caught it, but she asked her, the, the host, you know, how old is he? 38. Red flag. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I was like, dog. Wait, she said that? Yes, yeah, she said red flag. <laughs> A 30, being 38? Man, when a man uh, is 38 and he's a damn doctor, he is at his prime. Oh, man, he is... In the next 20 years, you will be served. Well, she said less, that because all she life. has is her pussy. That's, that's, that's Her look's not her, even there. Her, man. You. But anyways, yeah, uh, nah. uh, you want to read the rest of the comments? Um, yeah, let's go for it. Uh, so Tan, uh, what's going on? We love seeing you. Hey, uh, my brother Johnny's watching. Well, shout out to my brother Johnny. Um, Victor says, damn, you guys answered pretty well. Good discussion, Victor. We think alike. Um, so Tan says, advice to give to the past self is be patient with yourself. Oh, nice. Good, good, good. That's the, that's okay. the discussion like that. or that's the, uh, the comment. Mm. The description is, uh, uh, write in the comments what advice you'd give to your past self. I forgot. I right. forgot to mention that in the beginning. My bad. Be patient. You're right. Patience is uh, is key to a lot of things. Uh, you'd be surprised how much time can solve so many problems. Um, Link said he needs a passport and go to Thailand and find a traditional wife. Uh, <laughs> find a wife that can cook. You're right. That can serve him breakfast, lunch, brunch, dinner, supper. Yeah, hundred percent, man. You know, there's so much value in a, a homemaker. You know, um, yeah. You know, uh, I think people underestimate um, cooking. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's um, it's so valued. Um, like when people cook for you, it's just showing the appreciation of love, care. And they devalue like, oh, you just want me to cook for you? I'm like, yeah, man, that's that's a big thing. Like, you're feeding me nutrition. You know what I mean? Like, for me to uh, able to work harder, you know, be healthy, you know, and and love you in a, in a healthy manner. I mean, my physique. Um. So yeah, like being a good cook is is it's not a bad thing, guys. If you just a housewife cooking. And you have the option to do that, 
do you know how many people would die for that? Just to be a stay at home mom, watch, uh, the, take care of the kids. And, well, you, you know, it's like, it's, it's one thing to just want to do that, but it's, it's definitely a, a skill, you know, like, so that, yeah. that's why I'm saying like, you know, like being a homemaker is, is undervalued. Yeah. We need to bring it back though, man. It's fading away slowly. Um, but yeah, uh, today ends uh, today's session. Uh, next week is going to be a freaking different week. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a blind dating show. Yes. Hey, for a shout out to the guys out there. If you're single, you want to mingle. You want to get you sucked. Hit us up. We're going to hook you up. Um, one of our uh, bachelorette. She's uh she's super cool. You guys will love her. She's pretty gorgeous. Um she's ready to mingle, man. And uh hit us up. It's gonna be uh next week is gonna be Riz February. So we're gonna hey. riz everybody up. We're gonna hook everybody up with some with some dick and some cooch. So tune in tune next in. Thursday. Peter, you guys have anything to say? Yeah. Uh yeah. tune in every Thursday. 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Shout out to Peng, Johnny, uh, Yongi, Frankie, to all our Patreon supporters. Those guys, we love you. Uh, also, there's something too, but I forgot. Uh, see you next week. See you guys. Um...